Yeah, Kathy, we're here on the steps of the west end of the Capitol where House uh, Senate Bill, excuse me, 217 is now pushing through, which would actually push more accountability onto law enforcement by increasing the amount of body cameras throughout the state that would be worn and also increasing the transparency that the police departments would have to have by releasing video at an earlier date than once before. Uh, as Dave was just talking about, you can see behind me the clouds starting to roll through, but still dozens of people, uh, actually I would say hundreds of people getting close to the better end of thousands are still here on the west end of the Capitol holding signs, getting people to honk horns in support of their movement here right now. But I'm going to have you guys come down here and visit with uh, this gentleman, Brendan, over here. Hey, Brendan, can we grab you for a second? Yeah, of course. All right, so we're live on CBSN Denver right now. So Brendan is actually, uh, would you consider yourself an artist? Yes, I did. Thank you. People right now are uh, congratulating him for some of his work he's done. He's actually created these shirts right here and a lot of the artwork that actually depict a black man being shot. Can you kind of tell us the meaning behind this artwork which you created? Yeah, of course. Um, it was a piece that I shot with my little brother and we shot it shortly after the Ahmaud Arbery uh, incident. Uh, we, uh, well, shortly after it became publicized because it did happen back almost in February. And um, we uh, kind of wanted a piece that kind of just depicted something that would catch the, the eye of the viewer and make them think. You know what I mean? Um, something that is kind of, you know, makes them uncomfortable. Um, and my favorite thing, you know, my favorite reaction to it is that when people tell me that it made them uncomfortable, I feel like it's really doing its job. You know, it's, it's hard to look at. It's a pretty graphic image. Um, well, it's implied graphic violence. And um, it's, it's been kind of, it's been paramount um, to changing the viewpoint and changing the narrative of people that have seen the picture. You know what I mean? I get mess. I've been getting messages all week. I've been actually out here every day handing out these prints to people um, for free uh, just to spread the word and spread the message. You know what I mean? Having conversations with people about what needs to be changed in America with policy, regarding police, just re regarding violence against people in general. You know what I mean? And it's been really insightful because people have taught me a lot. I feel like I've taught a lot of people things. And it's nice to see it's sad that this piece of artwork had to be made. It's also sad that this is something that brings the American people together so well. And I think you just touched on this, but is it safe to say the graphic nature of it, an image of a black man being shot in the blood going out of the side of head, a depiction of that, is it that graphic nature which can grab the entire nation's attention, no matter their race, color, gender, any of that? Oh, of course. You know, graphic violence is something that people have been trying in debate with all the time you know the violence in video games um being linked to violence in adolescence and that kind of thing so, um you know gun violence in general huge issue in america um so th that kind of thing um really is what captures the attention of people is that it encompasses us all you know it's it, it scares us all you know what i mean it's not just um it, it's it's not just the image itself but like the feeling that it gives you and I don't know this answer. Uh, is there a specific reason why the individual pulling the trigger is not a black individual? It's a, the arm of a white person. Um, it's to show that there's two sides to the narrative. You know what I mean? If you look closer at the image, if, you, um, if you've seen the image online or in print, um, you can see that the nails um, on this person, they've been chewed off because of anxiety. She has a swell tattoo. Her hand is bandaged up. And it shows that we understand as black people, as people of color, that white people, our, our, our Caucasian counterparts, that they're going through their own things. You know, we, we suffer from anxiety, we suffer from depression. So it, it's really supposed to be more, more generalized. You know what I mean? It's supposed to represent, um, you know, I, I could have put the arm of a black person in there. I thought about putting the arm of a police officer in there, you know, but to me, that was just too specific to this narrative. Ahmaud Arbery was killed by two armed men that were not part of the police force. You know what I mean? And so it's not just police violence. You know, it's not just black on black violence. You know, it's violence against each other as people. We're all people and the violence against each other is what needs to stop. Final question for you before we cut you loose. Black Lives Matter listed across it. Why was the, what was the importance of making sure that was put across the artwork as well? Uh, I think that putting that, uh, I worked with the t-shirt designer on this and putting Black Lives Matter on the shirt really emphasizes the point of this particular protest. You know, it's one of those things that I want this, I don't want this picture to be something that people like remember all the time. You know, I want this picture to become irrelevant. You know, I want legislation to pass so that this picture doesn't, nothing like this picture has to be made again. 
you know, um, my mom, when I showed her the picture uh, the day before I posted it all over social media, you know, she wanted to cry because she didn't want to, she didn't want to ever see my little brother with a gun to his head for any reason. You know what I mean? Whether it be artwork or anything, what have you. And um, she was sad that a piece like that, you know, that her son had to create a piece of art like this to bring, a mer uh, bring attention to an issue that has been going on for decades. Brendan, I appreciate your time today. Uh, he's handing out free prints, and also they have shirts out here too. Um, but the artwork, thank you so much for sharing it. Tell us your first and last name real quick. Um, Brendan Matthews. Brendan, Brendan Matthews, thank you so much. So once again, we are on the west end of the Colorado State Capitol where there's still hundreds of people out here, even as the storm moves through, showing the importance they have, the, uh, the attention they have into this movement. Kathy, we'll go ahead and send it back to you.